everyone how are you doing today happy Monday to everybody I hope you had a fun weekend it's Hillary the marketing mom glad you're able to join me and today I am talking about fan pages and why it's important because I remember with one of my clients a, re a little while ago I'd say almost two years ago she was struggling with this concept of fan pages and why fan pages because you know her business she most of the people she interacted with were, were on her personal profile so that's what i'm going to be talking about today and why you should still have a business page or what we call a fan page if you are running a business okay so for those of you who don't know me let me just introduce myself really quickly i am hillary the marketing mom i'm a social media manager digital marketing strategist i'm an online business coach and trainer and i work particularly with mothers who want to leave the grind build a business online um, leave their nine to five, eight to four, whatever you call it in your country, um, and build a business online that allows you to be flexible and available to your children, to your family, and to the betterment of yourself. You know, um, and that's not where I started. So, for those of you who don't even know my story, you know, I started, you know, as one of those very um, driven female engineers I wanted to be an engineer from the time I was 13 years old went on got my undergraduate degree in engineering and went straight in to do my master's started working in the engineering field and very quickly realized you know what this is gonna be hard but anyway you kept at it and one of the things that I always remember and I shared this last week when we were talking about branding you know one of the things that I always remember is that the first thing you know I got this first project I was working on this project found a solution and everything and then my boss says now go and sell it now go and sell it to you know the divisional director whoever because he's in charge of the money it's not only in charge of the the process and you know everything moving smoothly but he was in charge of the money and basically I had to sell my idea to him so very quickly I realized you know marketing is everything and everything is marketing went back to get my MBA a couple of years later and came back home started working and everything and then I just sh first first baby and we're on 2.5 right now um, got pregnant with our first daughter and I instantly thought that there has to be something more that I could do yes I had these three degrees yes I had gone through all this wonderful education but you know what at the end of the day I was saying that my purpose was to really be a mother now obviously you can't be a mother and not feed your children and not provide help in providing for your family if you're a single mother you're the sole provider if you've got a spouse yes you've got to assist with that but I realized that there are things out there that you can do um, to, to do that so that's what I've dedicated um, the last four years and continue to do that for the rest of my life and to show other moms how to do the same because you don't have to be stuck in an office wondering who's holding your child what's wrong with your child what's going on all of that stuff you don't have to worry about that you could be at home raising your children and still working a business from home so with that I want to talk a little bit about the fan page all right and if you want to know, learn more about me, have a conversation, and even to talk about where you are at right now um, in your business, hit the link in the description of this video. It's hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy. That's hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy. The link is in the description of this video. But this client of mine, you know, a couple of years ago, she said, you know, I, I know I have to have a business page. I've got a business, right? But a lot of people, you know, when she was posting on her business page, she wasn't getting as much reaction. Sound familiar, right? You don't get a lot of interaction on your business page, but when you post the same content on your personal profile, your personal Facebook page, you got a lot of interaction, a lot of people commenting, sharing, liking, and all that stuff. Well, you know, and that was two years ago, and the funny thing about it is that Facebook has now come full circle, okay? in that a lot of your personal posts are now going to be seen a lot more than business posts and you know there are a lot of reasons behind it but a lot of businesses are not going to be getting into your news feed as much unless they're paying dollars in terms of advertising but you're going to be seeing a lot more people interacting with your personal page so that begs the question yet again why a fan page well first of all you can't advertise if you don't have a fan page okay now your fan page allows for your branding your personal profile is you it's your personal life now I always caution I've gotten I've had a video out for many for at least two years 
what to post on your personal page, what to post on your fan page. You could be personal on your personal page, but don't get so personal that you know you wouldn't want people not working with you because of what personal stuff you got there. Okay, let's just be clear about that. Okay, um, so yes, your fan page is important in terms of building a business brand. Okay, now whether your business is you as in you ink whether it's you that you're branding or whether it's a, it's a business you've got to remember that just like a storefront what's the first thing that you know a retailer wants to get a retailer doesn't want to necessarily sell out of his home okay that's basically selling out of your personal page a retailer goes and finds a storefront rent some space okay rent that's the key word so a lot of the times when people come to me and ask why do I even need a fan page I say well then you're not in business okay because you've got to step out of Facebook being a play area and Facebook actually being a place where you're conducting business and if you've got that mindset that's the first thing then you will realize okay so Facebook is here for me to build my business but yes they've got that personal thing on the other side where people interact and all of that stuff so it's kind of like a blurry area right where you can cross over time to time but you still have to have something to cross over to so branding building your brand is one of the key things just like you know when you have those big buildings and skyscrapers and they have the big coca-cola or the big Google right that's your that's your place to do your branding your personal stuff and why we use a fan page one because you can advertise two when you advertise you actually reach more people than your friends and family on your personal page you got that and you're actually reaching people who are interested in your product or service because you can do the targeting over there okay so when you're able to build your brand off your fan page you're able to do all of those things then what you're doing is building credibility okay again if you're running a business especially if it's a home-based business you want to be able to demonstrate hey I've got business stuff going on I've got a business website I've got a business email I've got you know so it makes it lets people know that you're serious if you're in business and you give me an email your business name at gmail.com what that tells me is that you're not committed to your business but if I tell you to you can send me an email at contact me at hillarydefratus.com what that's telling you is that I have taken a serious step towards this being my business I own this business okay Gmail does not own my business I own my business because I have taken that step in investing in what we call the business tools okay every corporation has their at whatever their name is their company name is dot com so if this is really a business for you then you should also have those things in place okay that's what we call small investments in your business okay Google Apple IBM would you do business with somebody who says they're from Apple if their email address was apple at gmail dot com probably not okay you wouldn't do business with IBM at hotmail.com no you're gonna do business with Jim at IBM.com so people are gonna do business with you once they see that you positioned yourself as a business person and that builds credibility for you even in the social arena when you create business pages versus the, using the personal page as your business the worst mistake that you can make in your business is creating a personal profile and naming it a business what that tells people is that you don't care about investment and that you're very you're not a very good person to do business with okay and then positioning okay if you have your own business platform your own you know what it's not your platform let's be clear about that but you've created your little space right in this social arena where now you could position yourself and back to what I was talking about the branding when you're able to position yourself you're also able to target to the right people you could only do that through a business fan page okay you can't figure out who's watching your profile and who's watching which post on your personal profile guess what Facebook doesn't give the analytics for that off of your personal profile it only comes from your business page so you've got to maintain a certain presence and activity 
on your business page so that you can get that information all right it doesn't matter if you're not getting likes or shares when you first get started all right and that's something that's a that's a great misconception online okay online takes just as long probably longer than if you were offline okay so it's like when you're offline you've just opened up say a food food place all right it's in the middle it's in the right location so let's say it's in the right location facebook's got a lot of people how many ever billion people billion users all right billion users from all over the world on facebook using facebook at different times guess what a billion how many friends could you have on your personal profile five thousand so if you really want to do business where you're going to do business where you could actually reach the billion or where you're only going to reach 5,000 people who know you personally. I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? You're going to put it on the, pl on the platform, on the section, should I say, dare I say, of Facebook that allows you to reach those billion. Now, those billion people are not all your customers, but the reality is you can still have the potential to reach somebody in China who you've never met through a fan page versus your personal profile if it's through your personal profile you're gonna have to jump on a plane and go to china and interact with people and say hey find me on facebook all right that's literally what you're gonna have to do but facebook gives you that opportunity through the fan page the business fan page okay so why you want to have a fan page it's very simple even though you may think and this is you know i told my client this even though you're getting a lot of interaction there on your personal profile think long term think scalability think business like okay yesterday my husband shared i'm gonna close with this yesterday my husband shared an image with me of jeff bezos it was an image taken of him in his first office of amazon now he created this office now we're not talking about the garage office we're talking about his first office and it was almost like a spray paint graffiti of Amazon.com on the wall. And it was one desk inside of a little office space room. Literally, probably no bigger than the office that I'm in. Okay? Let's think about that for a second. That's where Amazon started. Okay? In a room probably much smaller than this room that I'm in. One desk and graffiti Amazon.com against the wall. But he established it as a business. And where is Amazon today? That's what I'm going to leave you with. So when you think about why a fan page, think about why do you create a business? You create a business not for your friends, not for your family. You create a business to provide value to the world. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow at 12.30. Bye, everybody.